Hi there, and welcome to AlphaFold Decoded. This series is designed to guide you through every step of implementing AlphaFold 2 from scratch. I'm a biology student, and I was fascinated in my first semester that machine learning could actually predict the three-dimensional structure of proteins, but even more so by the fact that this was a really recent development. I had some background in machine learning, mostly in computer vision, and I wanted to understand how AlphaFold works, but I found that to be quite hard. Basically, the only material that covered the architecture with enough detail for doing an implementation yourself was the paper by DeepMind and some existing open source implementations. But if you tried before, these can be really hard to read. In other disciplines, like computer vision or natural language processing, it's quite common to have from scratch guides, like the transformer video by Andrew Carpathy. This is supposed something like that, but for AlphaFold. What makes this a little tricky is that AlphaFold is quite a bit more complex than transformers. Handling structural information is inherently more complicated than handling text, because you need proper mathematical models to describe it, and learning that takes some time. The series is structured in nine parts, and it's designed so that you can go through it without any particular prerequisites, except general Python knowledge. In the first three videos, we will go through a full introduction to the most important parts of machine learning, with an introduction to tensors, the basic building blocks of ML, an introduction to machine learning in general, and the attention mechanism. After that, we start with the AlphaFold specific content. Feature extraction, the EVO format, feature embedding, a video on advanced three-dimensional geometry, the structure module, and finally, putting all the parts together. That's quite a bit of content. If you think you're already familiar with some of the non-AlphaFold specific content, you're of course free to skip over that. But still, it's important to know that this journey will require a significant time investment. Most of the videos are about 20 minutes long. Each of the videos is accompanied by a Jupyter Notebook, where you can do the full implementation yourself with automatic checks. And depending on your experience in programming, you can expect to spend around 4 to 6 hours on each. I still think this is worth it. Learning computational bio could really change the impact you have on the future of biology. But you'll need a certain amount of commitment. Of course, you don't need to decide on that right now. You can just start the series and see how it fits you. In any case, I'm excited to go on this journey with you and to hear what you think about it. So, see you in the next video.